Hi. Welcome to our kitchen. <laughs> Today's recipe is rope holes and noisy mm. dogs. Welcome to Highway 30. I'm Sarah. And I'm Amy, and we're here to help you get creative. All day. Every day. So today we have some creative ways to add color to your rope bowls. Maybe a few things that you haven't actually thought of yet. Um, we had some questions on our last video where mom taught us how she makes her rope bowls. So that link to our rope bowl basket bowl making bowl basket baskets bowls. Rope bowl basket bowls is below. You don't want to miss that. That's kind of the intro to this. And we're just going to test some stuff out, try some different techniques to help you decide how you may want to add color to your rope bowls. So the first thing we did was to make a few test pieces. We had a few bowls that were just, you know, testers that we, you know, learning how to do these things. So they're not exactly perfect. And I made some coasters because that's an easy thing to test some dye on as well. Always make those so you're not testing the stuff out on your precious pieces of art that right. you've made. Because even though you can't really mess this up, you're gonna decide that you like a technique better than another and then you can give away your test pieces because they're pretty too. Exactly. Yeah. Today we're gonna head to the kitchen and get started so we'll see you there. Okay, let's go. So we have all of our different things here. It's our rope collection. Our rope. We have a rope collection. Yes. Here. Yes we do. This is fun because we're just gonna try some stuff. We did have a couple comments about how we get the ombre effect on the baskets. So we're gonna try that today. We have a couple of colors and we're gonna try out coffee to see what that looks like. It's gonna smell so nice. I know. Um, we need water. We need water. So this kettle is a little bit faster. Yes. Instant hot water. Basically, instant gratification. Yeah. I have never made instant coffee, but I assume we just pour the amount that we want and we can get it darker. I'm going to read a slightly rounded teaspoon per six fluid ounce cup. Adjust to taste. Okay, so maybe we just shake it in there and see what we, we get. Maybe we just shake <laughs> it and see what we get. Not only are we going to be testing this out with coffee, but we did buy some of the Rit dyes to try as well. Yeah, we bought a really pretty denim blue and a nice coral. So you could really see the difference in how maybe two very different colors seep into the bowls and then with the coffee as well. So a couple of the questions that we had are about technique when you're doing these dyes. So should you dye your cord before you start your project or should you dye your bowl after you do the project? Um, there are some pros and cons to both. Yeah, we figured that out. So if you dye your cord before you make your bowl, you're gonna have really sharp lines, which is nice, but you're always gonna see that transition point where you change colors yeah. with your cord. So either you have to get really creative with hiding that or you just have to be very okay with it. Yeah, you make it a part of your design. Yeah. If you do dye your cord before, then you would be able to use a complementary color thread. The thread does matter if it is 100% cotton thread. When you dye it, then it will dye as well. But there are a lot of really good polyester threads. They're actually cheaper. Perhaps you want to have one color bowl and then use a thread as a complementary color, which would look really yeah. cool. So then you see your stitching around, which yes. is a cool, cool yeah. technique. So another thing that you can do is get more of a striped effect by sewing together two colors first. Yes. All right, using thread, this is probably even easier because you're already yep. going to be sewing your bowls together. How easy is it to just change the color of the thread you're using? Exactly, or the thread type. So let's say you want to use colored thread. There's even options within that. Thread. Yes, there are lots. Yeah. Just, and, an, just a few. Yeah, and actually. mom has just, you know, provided us with just a few examples here. Just some. You want to color your whole bowl, then you would just use the thread over the entire bowl. Yep. She's just done a few of these. Right, that's that. Yep, there's a blue. Yep, and, and a brown. They're, they're falling all, all over the yep, place. There's so many of them. Everywhere. I really love this one. This one's subtle. It's a tan, but it's just enough different from the robe. That it's tonal. It's tonal. It's tonal. Let's say you don't want to cover your whole bowl with a color, then you can get really creative and make a little section darker. So you it's go cool. over with your thread over and over again, or stripes. Yes. Right, so you want some stripes. So this is also the technique where you just go over your bowl with more color. Zigzag designs. 
zigzag designs. Zigzag designs using the zigzag. You're gonna already be zigzagging to make your bowl, so you just mm -hmm. zigzag a little tighter. Zigzag tighter, tighten that zigzag. It really changes the look of them. There's one more very cool thread that mom found, and this is one of my favorite techniques ever. I love it. Do I have one of those? I, you don't. Here, oh, I'll okay. give you one to show. Shh. <laughs> but she found this variegated thread. Yeah, it's super cool. So you can get a multicolored look with one thread. Yes, it's amazing. I love it. These are cool. She's so creative. She's so creative. So you wanna color your bowl after you sew it together. Let's go back to the kitchen and see how we get this ombre effect with the dyes. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, we need a little salt too. Now what's the salt going to do, Amy? Um, apparently the salt is going to do something with the dye to make it work better. Something. We like to be technical here at Highway 30. Absolutely. Let's wash the water boil. Yeah. Instant hot water, basically. How do we need gloves? Oh yeah. Snap out of it, woman. <laughs> I'm actually sorry. Still waiting on the water to boil. Whoa! Now that's boiling. Slightly rounded teaspoon per six fluid ounce cup. I'm just gonna pour some. Yeah. Just pour. Ooh. It's gonna smell? Smell good in here. It's gonna smell good. Smell. Because it needs to go up. That's probably good. Because it'll draw. Um, we're just eyeballing this too, as far as how dark the color is gonna be. It's good, right? And that's looking pretty dark. Yeah. We can go ahead and put the basket in so this one can sit for a while. Okay. Because the idea with this one is that the liquid will draw up the cotton and it will give us that ombre look. Are we yeah. ready? Ready, I think so. This is so exciting. Okay. It does smell good. Yeah. All right, so we have testers here if you yeah. do want to test it all. I guess we can pour the color into the water this time. I so think so. Yeah. Avoid splash back. Well, we could add some salt first. Yeah. Looks good to me. Do we know what that salt is for? We do. We do. I figured it out. <clears throat> when cotton yarn or fabrics are dyed, Salt is added to the dye as a mordant to help the fibers absorb the dye. Very good, Sarah. Thank you for educating our audience. You're welcome. This is all very technical. These mm -hmm. are specific measurements. Yeah. We're showing you how you really can't mess this up. Right. plastic fork. Stir, stir. Keeping in mind that you splash this on anything. Countertop should be fine. You really like that gray shirt? I do like this gray <laughs> shirt. <laughs> it may need to be a denim shirt after we're done. Yeah. Or coral. Just make sure you have enough dye to dye the shirt that you're wearing. Yeah. Lots of ways you could do this. Yes. As you can see, we're <laughs> thinking. <laughs> These are our thinking hands. Are I guess we could test. Let's test. test. All right, I'm just gonna do a dip. Meanwhile, the coffee over here is looking great. It's looking really great.
as you can see, we did a pretty quick dip with the coasters on each side so we could more closely control that line yes. and kind of how those two colors connected and how much dye was drawn up. Exactly. It didn't soak up as much water because we didn't leave it in the water. So we still got a little bit of that fade, mm -hmm. but not. it didn't draw up across the whole coaster. Yep. Here we go. Time to remove the baskets and see what's outside. Now, if you think you may want to do some more dyeing in the next couple of days, you can always save yep. some of your dye and then just heat it up again if you want to reheat it. If it's a little splotchy, it seems like we can just wipe the splotches away, kind of smooth it out. Ah, oh, that's cool. So at this point, the coffee bowl, I think it looked amazing. So pretty, Loved such a pretty color. How it worked, however, yeah. I think because we left it in that water so long, even after we took it out, the water kept drawing up the thread and it kind yeah. of lost some of that ombre look. It did. I definitely think if we had pulled it sooner, that would have prohibited some of that. So we would have gotten more of a, a varied tone ombre. Exactly. Now, because these were all testers, I'm just testing things out. I decided after it dried, well, what if I do that and try it again? So I made mm -hmm. some more coffee. I just did a quick dip this time took it right out, and I do think that it helped yeah. make the top a little bit darker, so there was a little bit more variation. of a difference in the yeah, variation. Yeah, you can tell it definitely made a difference. So there were a couple of other factors that we realized in making these that really affected how they came out. Yes, it really does make a difference how much concentrate you put in your water. So obviously the darker it's going to be, you're probably gonna get a much darker object. If you want a lighter ombre difference, so I would use less dye, right. and you can always dip it again if you want to. Right, also the amount of water that you're dipping in, so how much of the bowl is actually submerged yeah. will make a big difference as well. When you look at these two, you can see this is actually, uh, spoiler alert, it's the one we worked on, and then this is another one. Here, we, we actually dipped the bowl to this point, and then this bowl was only dipped about as far as the first row. So you can see this is much darker, and it's a stronger line. This, we've got a little bit more of an effect here. Yeah, they're both really cool, so they're both Right, correct. It's just kind of according to what look you want. Yeah. So here we have it. That our, was so much fun. Yeah, our little creations. I liked how we didn't exactly have a set goal here. We just were playing around. That's right. a lot of fun. We were testing. We started testing with coasters, as you can see. So we got a little bit creative with these and they're very fun. The coral was a little more red than I thought. And, it was. But it looks good, blue and red. Yeah. A little patriotic there. Yep. And same thing with our coasters. Um, we each got a little, they're, they're a little different, but. Um, I mean, we are sisters. I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I really like that, the way you're doing that. I know. So, well, let me do it that way yeah, too. Exactly. And then the coffee bowl. I really wish this was smell o vision Oh, I know, it still smells so good. It does, it smells yeah. amazing. You know, we got a pretty good ombre effect on yep. that. The blue bowl, I think, worked out a lot better. It did. Really like the way that it's the inside of the bowl also. Yes. It's the cool. inside of the coffee bowl actually turned out even better than the outside. Okay. I kind of want to try this again and do it where we only dip it for a second, just to see. Yeah, just to see how much that draws it up. I know. Look who it is! It's mom! It's mom! Hey mom! Hey! Welcome to Highway 30! Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> We're actually talking about you right now! We're talking about your rope bowls! Yeah! Mom. I'm interrupting Highway 30. No, you're just right in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Wait a second, we'll be right back. Beautiful. Give me some more. A little more. Okay, you're done. 
Well, thanks for stopping by today. We're so glad you joined us on this little adventure. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed watching our testing of techniques and I hope it inspires you to do a little bit of your own. Hang on tight. We're gonna show you a little slideshow of some of these different options, but otherwise we'll see you next time. See you next time. Thank you.